Hi friends, all of you and welcome back to my channel. In our last tutorial, we have learned about all the functions, max, main, count, average and sum. Today we are going to learn about group by and having clause. Uh, this is very important when we are learning aggregate function, how we can do group by and how we can use having clause to filter the you know records and all. So I'll directly show you to SQL workshop with table so that you will get to know in better way. So let's jump to SQL workshop. Okay, so let's take the example of our, uh, you know, uh, employees table. So I'm doing select star from employees. So here we have these many data. Okay, so what actually group by does, suppose we are using select, uh, you know, we are using max of, we want to take max of salary. So we want max of salary from employees table which is having group ID as 90. Okay, we don't want maximum salary of all the employees we want maximum salary highest salary of only that employee who belongs to you know department id night and department id 90 at that time we use group by actually okay so i'll show you here so what i'm doing here select uh, you know department id department id comma salary from employees Okay, when I'm doing something like this, I'm just getting department ID and salary. So I just want to know in this department, what is the maximum salary? What is the highest salary in this department? So how we can do that? We will do select department ID and then max of, you know, max of salary. It will give you highest salary. And then we will do group by, uh, group by department ID. So this is gonna give us highest salary department wise. Let's run this query. So as you can see, let me you know, let me do order by, order by one, and uh, run this query. So department ID ten is having maximum salary as four thousand four hundred twenty is having highest salary as thirteen thousand thirty department ID is having highest salary as uh, eleven thousand. So this is what this is giving us higher salary according to department id this is not you know total uh, you know higher salary among all the people no this is due uh, yeah it could po possible that total three people are belong to you know belonging to depart department id 10 and out of three people one is getting 4500 4400 so this is how you know our group by clause work okay so yeah this is one thing and what if you want only you know higher salary of department id 70 so at that time you will do group by department id first then you will be using having clause having department uh, department id is 70 is equal to 70 and then run this query sorry and uh, run this query so we are getting only department id 70 Whatever you'll write here, it it work as where clause in our simple uh, simple uh, you know simple query. So where clause uh, having clause is same as where clause, but the only difference is we use having clause only with aggregate functions. Or you can say whenever we are using group by, we use having clause to filter the data. So hope the this group by and having clause is clear to you. Let me show you one more example here. Run this query. So suppose I wanna take this time what I wanna do. I wanna take a first name salary and department id so how we can do that i'll show you here select first name then department id and the maximum salary of uh, you know this department maximum salary okay from which table from employees table group by because we are we are using max of salary so we have to do group by using these two columns okay so let's copy it and paste it here when we when we do group by we you know use comma, comma separator to you know separate column columns actually so when we'll be doing something like this and we'll run this query we'll get the data in this way the first name is this he is the person who is getting maximum salary. He belongs to 
department ID 90. So same Alexander, he belongs to department ID 60 and he's getting 9000 which is actually highest among all the people who belongs to department ID 60. Hope the example and uh, you know concept is clear to you. For any confusion or any doubt, let me know in comment box. And yeah, that's it for today. Don't forget to share and subscribe and like the video. Alright, thanks for watching the tutorial. Thank you very much.